on the face of it, the picture for gold demand in the third quarter might seem relatively weak compared with the same period of last year. But the 7% year on year decline masks what was actually quite a positive quarter for most sectors of the gold market. Jewellery demand continued to rebound from last year's weakness. As economic growth has continued to recover, we've seen demand come flooding back, although so far it's fallen short of recovering to pre-COVID levels. Gold demand used in technology, however, has returned to levels that were typical before the pandemic. And that's partly because of strong demand for consumer electronics and the ongoing rollout of 5G infrastructure. Central banks have continued to buy at a healthy pace. So far in 2021, they've bought almost 400 tonnes, which is already ahead of 2020's full year total. The investment picture, though, is more varied. Global bar and coin demand saw very strong growth, and that was true across um, almost all markets. The fear of inflation continues to be a driving factor there. And also we saw investors buying into the price weakness in the hope of a rebound. But gold ETFs had an outsized impact on the gold market. Small net outflows in the third quarter weren't in themselves particularly significant. But 2020 was a record year of demand for gold ETFs with very large scale inflows in the third quarter. So comparing that with the most recent quarter generates a very substantial year on year decline. We delve into the full details behind these top line numbers in our Gold Demand Trends Report, which is downloadable now from goldhub.com.